All right, ladies and gentlemen, in response to Joe's uh, major mod Monday, um, I'd like to show you my beautiful FFLP Super Sparkle. It's got an amazing um, chameleon sparkly finish on it. Um, one of the first things that I ended up doing is rewiring the stock electronics. So basically everything is almost stock um, wiring wise. So what I did is this is normal, like on a guitar, bridge, neck. Then this is my middle pickup volume by itself. And then a master tone here. I got these uh, knobs from, I believe I got them from Music Lily. Um, I can't remember now. Um, now you might think that them are DiMarzio Super Distortion pickups in here. And honestly, I don't have uh, $150 a piece, let alone the cost of this guitar was like $256 shipped to my door. Um, so what I ended up doing is getting <clears throat> the Kosh brand. I went on eBay, searched their store out, and found some single coil slip-on covers for strats. What I did is I chopped the top off and I made these chrome top pieces. Um, this is obviously, uh, would be the 52 mil for the bridge. And then this is 50 millimeter um, top spaced covers for the uh, upper pickups. And I flat blocked them as tight as I could get them. Put super glue double-sided tape in between each one of the pull piece holes on the back side of these and stuck them on top and it gives you that awesome little chrome look on the cheap because I'm not spending 450 on pickups I just can't do it right now I'm on a budget um, and I had these really nice uh, chrome pickup covers laying around so I threw them on uh, the uh, guitar stock uh, tailpiece and bridge this is a Philadelphia Luthier Tools uh, switch tip, factory switch, factory uh, strap buttons, got a little inlay sticker for the 12th fret. Um, my friend Joseph made the, uh, the um, overlay for the headstock with Ace uh, Freely's face on a Silhouette Cameo machine. Um, it's a multi-layered vinyl. It's basically it's black and then there's multiple layers that go over it like for the blue piece of hair, the uh, actual uh, the makeup on the face so you can't see it where his eye is is actually uh, sparkly silver. Um, and then the uh, truss rod cover was made on a CNC machine as well. The tuners are stock. And I actually went ahead and pulled the buttons off them and got some Fleur brand tuners at, that had the tulips, but it had like the crappier, like thin little oil filled housing, uh, housings. I just like these because these look like Grover's, a little bit beefier. Swap the buttons on them, put the other buttons on the other tuners. Sure that they're fine, but I just like the look of them better. The neck is all nice and sparkly. Now, next, I had Joseph. He ended up making me these uh, custom control covers, Firefly Custom Shop on that. And then he made me this Ace Freely back control cover. Um, and I had him add the uh, rocket ship to the design of this cover. Um, thought that was kind of neat. So shout out to him for making me these uh, as a gift. Didn't pay a dime for him, so that was super cool of him. But yeah, really awesome, awesome guitar. So it uh, sounds good. The only issue that I will state that I have with it is when I got it, um, when I go to solo like down in this section, you can hear that tink.
right in there. These uh, frets, like on the first three strings, these need to be leveled down, which I need to do a touch up on them. I just haven't gotten around to it because I haven't had time, let alone, um, yeah, I just haven't had time to do it. So, but I will get around to it. Um, but overall, really cool guitar for the money. I just got to do a little bit of touch up work on the frets. Eventually, I think I'm going to yank all this wiring out. Um, another little gripe I have is when I rewired it, it could just be me because I'm not the best at soldering. Um, I'm still learning big time on that. I can get my way around it, but um, the pickup, the bridge pickup going on the uh, bridge volume, it just uh, it did not want to stick. I've got it wired up good now, but just the factory pots and that, um, I'm probably gonna end up yanking them out as well as the uh, the switch. And I'm gonna go ahead and go on eBay and they sell a uh, Epiphone um, 2V, 2T um, uh, setup, um, wiring setup. So you get all four pots, the switch and the output jack um, for like 15 bucks and that's all metric. And compared to like, these are kind of like, you know, molasses, slow and sluggish, which I know some people like that. Cause it, I don't know, I am just, I love speed. Like when I'm grabbing these knobs, like I don't like feeling like I'm turning syrup, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably swap that out and rewire it and try to do it as cleanly as possible, like my best job yet. Um, I've only wired up one wiring harness in my life that's looked like super, super clean. So, but yeah, that's it for this little video and I hope you all enjoyed it.